Imagine yourself as a, a body. You're the earth and everything poking at you, pulling you out. And we believe that the earth has a heart. It has organs like a human being. And she's a grandmother, a mother that nurses us. And here we are as humans, her children are prodding at her, taking stuff every day without even saying thank you. We have a mother, I said, uh, take a syringe and take blood out of her every day. I said, see how long she'll live, you know, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what the earth is gonna happen to. She can only produce so long. Nature itself is gonna say one day, enough is enough. <laughs> The newcomers that came over uh, overlooked the knowledge that was already here. In a sense that the new culture, the new people were, were superior to us. And therein lies some problems. And the early ethnographers uh, that came to us didn't do us any favor. When they start using words like primitive, nomadic, those have very negative connotations and connotations that, uh, that justify ignoring the knowledge that was here. If I destroy the water, I'm destroying myself. I'm destroying two things, water and me, but it's only one. Long time ago, this water, they were talking about Athabasca. Long time ago, we used to use it lots. We used to wash, we used to go down the river and wash our clothes with it. We used to eat fish from there. That's how I lived long time ago. Now today, nothing, everything, nothing. We've seen uh, fish floating belly up and swords on them, dead fish. So I mean, after that, I, there was no way I was gonna ever eat fish from the river. They've taken so much, you know, so few people are benefiting from so many years. It's not healthy, it's not right. And yet the people that are living in there are poor. You know, not only they're physically poor, living in poverty, their health is being affected every day. They come forward and say, well, we'd like to have a meeting with you and say, because we're a new plant, we're gonna put a new plant up and that. And meanwhile, they already have all the papers that says, go ahead. We're always being like, uh, seem to be like uh, run over, like you know, like like they always, uh, they always have. Uh, we can't anything we we have to say. It doesn't matter. They're supposed to come and talk to us and ask for our, our input or whatever but it's always we have seems to say. To be but after the fact. After the fact, yeah, then it's, it's after the fact. Signed, sealed, and delivered, and then it's done deal, and then they tell us about it. They always say, we'd like to hear your concerns. Well, our concerns are this, and water is one of them. The air, everything that we need, that we lift on, is taken away from us. But we never get any feedback on it, of what we have said, all the elders have said, and what our meeting was all about. It's pretty discouraging. Very discouraging. And just kind of give up hope, and uh, it don't matter any what I say, what I feel. It's already gone ahead anyway. So, 
power plants, we fought that. When they started to put the dams on the creeks, we fought it. We were nothing. We were just like that ant crawling around. You stomp on it. We were like that. Well, we had no, no show because it's a big companies that were taking that water from that lake. And people say, well, what is the alternative? Well, the alternative is we're not stupid, are we? You know, I like to think that we've got something between our ears to use our imagination. Because what we're doing right now doesn't take any kind of brilliance to realize it is not sustainable. We can't keep pouring chemicals into this. We pray for these things, but it's just that turn around and we do it over and over again. And we're asking, we're begging for forgiveness and asking for it to be put right again. You know, it's very true. Maybe one day the Creator will get tired of listening to us <laughs> because we're asking for the same thing over and over and we're not doing our part. We're not taking care of the gifts that are given to us. Suits will say, come on, be a realist. Well, let's be realistic. Where we're going is unsustainable. Surely to goodness, these suits have children, have grandchildren. I'm appealing to them as human to human. We're better than this. We don't have to be this greedy. We're smarter than that, or are we? <laughs>